The United States is running concentration camps on our southern border. And that is exactly what they are. They are concentration camps. And um, if that doesn't bother you, I don't. Hello, 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 hello out there. How's everybody doing? How's everybody's favorite conservative in New York, Christopher Wright. Here to present you another one of my infamous walk and talk videos. Remember, if you enjoyed the content, please remember to like and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon when you're finished. It'll be a letter of future videos. It'll be appreciated. Uh, so what's today walk and talk going to be about? It is going to be about, <laughs> everybody knows, Alexandria Socrazio Cortez, we like to call her. You know, she's a freaking nut. But that's today's walk talk going to be about. It's going to be about the whole issue with the detention centers going on the south of the border and what she's talking about there. Uh, she's comparing both the detention centers, as you guys know, to concentration camps. What in the world is kind of comparison is that? And my thing is this: if you look at the detention centers, so-called the concentration camps, they're trying to she's trying to say is equal to the same thing. Is they got daycare centers, they got playgrounds, they got soccer fields, video games. Uh, freaking barber shops, hair salons, all these things at these so-called concentration camps. And <laughs> I don't remember when I looked at history, when I saw the documentaries and everything I saw about concentration camps and Nazis and what he did to the Jewish community about anything about playgrounds and, you know, happy-go-lucky, having a good time, fun time. It was, uh, you know, a lot of dehydration, a lot of starvation, a lot of hunger, a lot of murder, a lot of gas chambers, you know, way different from a detention center, I'll tell you that. And if you look at it, uh, it also, you, you can see, look at it like for one, they have an option to choose to go <laughs> to these detention centers in the first place. Just don't break the law and come to a country illegally, and you don't have to worry about being detained in the detention centers. The Jewish community didn't have that option when it came to concentration camps. Right? They were within their community, uh, citizens of the country, and all of a sudden, them being citizens was illegal. Them being there was no longer an option, and they were put in the concentration camps. So they didn't do anything illegal. They weren't breaking the law. They were just being citizens and their government decided they were the enemy and made them the enemy. So that's very different between people breaking a law, coming to a country illegally, and then getting thrown into jail because of it. So don't compare the two. And if you also look at it, uh, they had a lady, uh, Angela Ray, she was on CNN. And I read Angela Rye, I'm so, I don't care if I get her name right or wrong, but this is be right here, Angela Rye. She was on CNN and they had a, like a Republican, uh, she was in a debate against a Republican. And she pretty much said, Oh, oh no, or, you know, she like argued with them and she got in his face and got aggressive and said, you know, Trump is trying to bring back concentration camps. These are concentration camps. And you, if you uh, about border security and building a wall and you're about supporting uh, concentration camps and supporting murder of, you know, immigrants, all this crazy stuff she was going on and on and on about. And I thought this woman's a freaking nut. But then I go online and I see there's people who are actually on this lady's side who are agreeing with her who are like, oh my gosh, what a strong, independent woman. And it's like, the fact that you're comparing the two is insane to me. I remember when I was a kid uh, in middle school, about sixth grade, we were in lunch and there was a lady that came that came to speak to us who was a, a survivor of a concentration camp. She was a Jewish lady, older lady, probably in the early 80s. And you know how it is with sixth graders in a, in a lunchroom during school time and they give us a break to go to lunch. You know how a noisy it could possibly be. It was very noisy, very loud. You know, us running around acting a fool. As soon as she walked into the room and started talking, you could have dropped a feather in that room, in, her, in that lunch room, and heard it drop. Because she had the whole lunch room quiet. These, all these kids, just totally quiet, listening to what she had to say. And I never forget that moment when I was in sixth grade. Never forget it. So when people are always so so quick to call somebody a Nazi or this is a concentration camp, we're like the Jews. I'm like, shut up, shut up. I'm not even Jewish. But yet I had a lady who was an older woman who came to my school when I was a kid and just told her her story about what happened to her. And that changed my life forever, just hearing the story. So when I hear people talking about, oh, you're a Nazi, oh, I'm like really like the Jewish people and da 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 and back in Hitler and Trump's Hitler, I just want to slap them inside their stupid heads because how dare you disrespect that community like that? This is not the same thing. This is not equate the same thing. When people are bringing their kids over here illegally, putting up their daughters for uh, mules, they call them, like sex mules, to be trafficked. And then some of these people don't even have daughters. They're not even daughters. They're just little girls they brought along with them to just use for prostitution so they can get what they got to get to. So it's definitely not the same thing as what happened to the Jewish people. And what happened, what's going on with the Jewish community is these legal aliens coming over here breaking the law. Huge difference. And 
you know, if you look at what this is, and look what this is bringing in. You got the Ilmar uh, Olabs and Rashida Talibs and AOCs talking this anti-Semitic rhetoric, and they're getting by. They're looking like, oh, they're intelligent, so smart. And that is what the left is bringing in. So they keep talking about, oh, Trump, Hitler, Republicans, or Nazis, and, you know, they're bringing back concentration camps, yada, 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 yada. They're the problem with the system, blah, blah, blah. But the people, as you know, it lies. People usually pointing their fingers at the ones committing the sins, committing the lies. And that's what the Democratic Party is doing right now. They're pointing their fingers at the right, saying they're Nazis, saying they're Hitler's Texas concentration camp. They're trying to bring back Jewish people, slaughter, blah, blah. Because in all reality, behind closed doors, they're the ones who want to push it. They're the ones who are anti-Semitic. They're the ones who are trying to destroy this country. So it's time for the people to wake up out there and see the ones who are pointing their fingers are the ones committing the crimes. And it's, you know, time to make a change about it. So that's today's walk and talk. Hope everybody, everybody enjoyed the content. And of course, like always, how I end it, God bless everybody out there, everybody out there listening. Of course, God bless America. Adios.